This book is called Night Noises. It's a collaboration between two Australian friends. The writer is Mem Fox, and the illustrator here is Terry Denton. Both of them are from Australia. Mem Fox has so many books. All of them are wonderful, including on the screen here, one of them for grown-up readers. You can go to her website and learn more about her. It's easy to find, memfox.com. If you don't know any Australian people, they speak English the same way people in the United States do, but it sounds different. You can get a feel for that by listening to this very short YouTube clip where Terry Denton shows a little bit about his drawing style, and you can hear him uh, speak the same language you do, but sound different. And here's an example of what authors get to do once they've published one of their books. Uh, they can sign those books for other people. So this book was signed by Mem Fox. Lily Laceby lived in an old cottage in the hills. Her hair was as wispy as cobwebs in ceilings. Her bones were as creaky as floorboards at midnight. Her only companion was a fat old dog called Butch Aggie. People who lived nearby said Lily was nearly 90, but they were only guessing. One wild winter's evening, as Lily Laceby sat by her fire, snug and warm, she drifted off to sleep and began to dream. Butch Aggie dozed at her feet. Outside, clouds raced along the sky, playing hide-and-seek with the moon. Wind and rain rattled at the windows, and trees banged against the roof. Somewhere in the distance, car doors opened and closed softly, click, clack. Butch Aggie listened, but Lily Laceby kept on dreaming. Feet tiptoed up the garden path, crunch, crunch. Butch Aggie cocked her head, but Lily Laceby went on dreaming. Voices whispered in bushes. Mutter, murmur, murmur, mutter. Butch Aggie bristled, but Lily Laceby went on dreaming. Eyes peered through keyholes. Squint, peek, peer. Butch Aggie's throat rumbled. But Lily Laceby went on dreaming. Twist, test, rattle. Hands tried to turn doorknobs. Butch Aggie bared her teeth. But Lily Laceby went on dreaming. Nick, knack, knock. Knuckles drummed on door frames. Butch Aggie leaped up, growling. But Lily Laceby went on dreaming. Fists beat upon doors. Voices shouted at the window.
yell, clatter, bang, bang, bang. Pucheggy barked and barked. <laughs> Lily Laceby woke up with a start. Who is it? she called. Who is, who is it on a night like this? It's only us. Let us in. Let us in. Creak. A uh, crack went Lily Laceby's knees as she got to her feet. Oh, snick, snack went the bolts on the door, and in came surprise, happy birthday. Put the cat on. Where's the toilet? Oh. Her two sons, her three daughters, her fourteen grandchildren, and her thirty-five great-grandchildren. Happy 90th birthday! Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> Along with the crowd was her great-great-grandchild, Emily, aged four and a half. And... Her 47 friends. They all yelled, Surprise! They all started to sing, For she's a jolly good granny, For she's a jolly good granny, For she's a jolly good granny. <sighs> Which nobody can deny. And then they yelled again, Happy birthday! Are, are you really 90? whispered Emily, aged four and a half. Lily Laceby held her hand and smiled. Inside, I'm only four and a half, like you, she whispered back. But don't tell anyone. And that's the end. Unless, of course, you want to go back and count how many people were actually there. That might be fun. So you saw that authors sometimes get to sign their names in their books. That's pretty fun. But they also get to dedicate their books to various people. So Mem Fox dedicated this book to Nana, who is Lily's daughter. And Terry Denton dedicated this book to Dorothy and her game leg. And let's hope you have this much fun or more on your 90th birthday. The book is Night Noises. It was written by Mem Fox and the illustrations were drawn by Terry Denton.